You know, we can come on here and argue the fact that Daniel Bryan shouldn't be inserted into the main event at WrestleMania with Edge and Roman Reigns all we want, and that it should be Edge and Roman Reigns, and that more specifically, Edge chose Roman to face. Now, we can argue that until we're blue in the face. We just got to accept the fact that it's going to happen. And on top of that, Daniel Bryan had been in the works, you know, to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania even before the Royal Rumble happened. You know, remember, if you take Talking Smack into consideration from a continuity perspective, Daniel Bryan made it perfectly clear that his intentions for 2021 was to make Roman Reigns tap out and become champion. And in recent weeks, and even around the time before the Rumble, he made it clear on SmackDown and even Talking Smack that this potentially could be his last year in WWE, and if not his last year in wrestling before he hangs it up. So, you know, so to get angry at the fact that Daniel Bryan is being inserted into this, you have to remember that before the Rumble happened, and before Edge came on camera and declared himself, you know, eligible for the Rumble, or you know, inserted himself into Rumble, thus declaring that he's been cleared to get back in the ring, Daniel Bryan was always in the works. And even if and even if you take Edge out of the equation, and let's say you had Daniel Bryan win the Rumble, guess what? Daniel Bryan was given the same option Edge got, and that was to be able to choose for whatever championship he so chose to choose, challenge for at WrestleMania. You know, that being the WWE title, the NXT title, or the Universal Championship, which most likely was going to be the one he would go with from a storyline perspective. And we have to remember, too, this ruling to be able to choose whatever champion you go after at WrestleMania if you win the Rumble, this had been instituted all the way back since the brand expansion officially began in 2002, more so 2004, when Chris Benoit jumped ship from SmackDown to Raw to challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 20. And let's not forget, the ruling for the winner of the Rumble to challenge for the title at WrestleMania in the main event is something that was instituted in 93 when and officially became a reality at that time when Yokozuna won and challenged Bret Hart at WrestleMania 9. So, you know, despite how you feel about Daniel Bryan being in there, when Edge won the Royal Rumble this year, he was given that same option that Daniel Bryan was, would have been given and that everybody else before him was given on both the men's and later on the women's side of the Rumble. You know, he was given that option to choose for choose whatever championship to go after when it came to WrestleMania. So just because a lot of people can come out and say, oh, well, he chose Roman, it should be him, him and Roman, that's not necessarily true. Yeah, he did, you know, spear Roman after Roman's short-lived match with Daniel Bryan at Elimination Chamber and declared that he was coming after Roman in the Universal title, at WrestleMania, but in actuality, from a storyline perspective and a reality standpoint, if you will, he's actually declaring his shot at the Universal Championship. He wasn't technically, technically saying he was going after Roman. He only said that for storyline purposes, but in reality, you know, if you take the storyline purposes out of the way, he actually chose to go after the Universal Championship. That's what he did. The only reason he chose to go after Roman is because Roman currently is the champion. So from a storyline perspective, it makes sense to basically tell the champion, hey, I'm coming for you and your title at WrestleMania. But, but, in actuality, they could say that, but what is the one thing that Roman and Paul Heyman used against Adam Pearce not that long ago? Card subject to change? That could get brought up possibly in the sm one of the two SmackDowns leading up to Mania. You know, well, basically someone like, as I mentioned in my video that's premiering right now, it's about, what is it? You know, 8.28 a.m. Pacific Time is premiering right now. You know, you could have someone, like I said in that video, you could have someone like a Vince McMahon, probably more, or more than likely a Triple H, come out and say, yeah, Edge, you did choose Roman in the Universal Championship, but in actuality, you chose to go after the Universal title because what was the one thing you and... Paul uh, used against Adam Roman, card subject to change. You know, they could bring that up. They could have, you know, a Triple H more than likely than a Vince McMahon to come out and say, hey, look, you know, Roman and Paul, you know, you used something against Adam Pierce, you know, not that long ago where you said card subject to change. Guess what? That's exactly what happened 
here. Well, that potentially could have been what happened here had Daniel beat you at fast lane if Edge didn't screw things up. So you could ha have someone like a Triple H you, or even a Vince McMahon come out and say, yeah, Edge, you did choose Roman in the Universal title at fast lane, but in actuality, you were choosing the Universal Championship because it wouldn't have mattered who held that title. You were still going to get your shot you know, at that championship in the main event of Mania. So in reality... You know, if you take the storyline aspect or even add it to the storyline aspect, if somebody like an Adam Pierce or more than likely a Triple H or even a Vince McMahon, if we're, so, you know, if we're uh, lucky enough, you know, they, you can have either one of them come out and just acknowledge that Edge, when you chose Roman, in actuality, you were chosen, choosing the Universal Championship. It wouldn't have mattered who had it. You were still going to get your shot. So, you know, I think, so in a way, I think that's what some people are for, kind of overlooking. They're not realizing that, you know, Edge, you know, he may have chose Roman from a storyline perspective to take the title off of, but in actuality, he was choosing the Universal Championship. It'd be the same thing if he decided to go after the, you know, WWE Championship. If he would have, you know, gotten Drew's face and say, I choose you in the WWE Championship to wrestle at WrestleMania, and then we had the situation with The Miz and then Bobby Lashley, you know, we could have had the same scenario of it being a triple threat or even being one-on-one -on -one because even though Edge declared in front of Drew's face, it, you know, as with him being champion at the time, hey, I'm going to come after you, it doesn't mean he was going to face Drew. It just means he's declaring himself you know, as the challenger for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania because he earned that opportunity. Same with the NXT title. He could have gotten Finn Balor's face after TakeOver, and said, I'm choosing you to face for the NXT Championship at WrestleMania. And, you know, depending on what happens between then and WrestleMania, you know, it doesn't mean, you know, he was going to face Finn Balor. For all we know, you know, he could be facing Karrion Cross if Karrion Cross beats Finn Balor on night two of Stand and Deliver. And thus it's Edge and Karrion Cross. Or he could be facing somebody else entirely. You know what I mean? You know, like if they decided to you know, give Walter the championship in between then, have him beat Finn Balor on a, on a regular episode or a special edition episode of NXT, it could be Edge and Walter. You kind of get what I'm getting, you kind of see what I'm getting at? The point is, you know, in actuality, all Edge was really doing was declaring his intentions to go after the Universal Championship. And that in storyline, you know, Roman Reigns is the champion, thus it made, thus, it would make sense to, to go after Roman to finally, you know, shut him up and take the title off him and make him realize you're not the tribal chief or the head of the table you say you are. So, again, that's something I think a lot of people overlook, that Edge didn't, you know, that, yeah, on screen and in story, Edge chose Roman in the Universal Championship, but in reality, actuality, he was declaring himself for the Universal Championship and that no matter who the champion would have been, he would have still gotten his shot. So hopefully, hopefully people realize that, you know, you shouldn't overthink these things and that you should look at the bigger picture and that if you want to take the storyline story, uh, elements out of it and look at it from a more reality base, yeah, Edge did declare he was going after the Universal Champion Roman Reigns, but in actuality, he was declaring he was going after the Universal Championship. So, you know, that's just, you know, my thoughts on it. That's just my thoughts on people probably overlooking that main aspect of it that, yeah, Edge declared to go after the Universal title, or, uh, go after the Universal Champion Roman, but in actuality, he was declaring go, he was going to go after the Universal title. But let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are in the live chat. And I'm out. Have a good Palm Sunday. Peace.